welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in today. All right, today our, our uh, topic is going to be mostly geared toward <clears throat> having another uh, read out of my book, Prayer of Agreement. Jesus loves me, her, him, and you All created by God, that's absolutely true Gotta, 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 gotta get a revelation Of his love for everybody, every nation Lord, take the blindness off, make me be able to see How you really, really, truly, truly love me And I'll always forever be totally thankful to you Love will heal me, help me be, see, think, and do See your love to me as well So tonight, we're gonna do chapter two And, um uh, just, you know, as fate would have it, chapter two is Wisdom to Prosper. On uh, starts on page seven. But the scripture reference is on page six. And um, what I really tried to do is give a scripture reference before I started praying, because we want to always do our best to you know, pray according to God's will for our lives. You don't want to just be um, out there asking for something that God does not even mean you to have. And, you know, sometimes we think, oh, I would never do that. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we're sorely mistaken um, and we're not actually asking for something that... Um, that God wants us to have. But in this case, God does want us to have wisdom. Um, he says in the book of um, Proverbs, I think it is, get wisdom. It's the principal thing. And, um, and you can tell, you know, there's wisdom is sorely lacking in our day, probably, probably in, in every, in every day, in every time. But, um, he wants us to get wisdom and he's fully wanting us to have it and willing to give it to us. And it is something that only he can give. You can get education from, from school and you can learn, um, what is, here to be learned, but there's a, there's a wisdom that you can only get from, from God and from the things of God. So anyway, let's dive in and endeavor to get that. Okay. All right. Wisdom to prosper. This is first Kings three, um, chapter three verses six through 14. And I'll try to, um, I'll try to hurry on, hurry on through. All right. And Solomon said, you have shown great and steadfast love to your servant, David, my father, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart toward you. And you have kept him from this great no, and you have kept him. Mm -mm. And <laughs> I need reading glasses, but they're not in here. So it's okay. I'm going to keep on going. And you have kept for him this great and steadfast love and have given him a son to sit on his throne this day. And now, O oh Lord, my God, you have made your servant king in place of David, my father. Although I am but a little child, I do not know how to go out or come in. And your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen a great people, too many to be numbered or counted for multitude. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to govern this your great people? It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this. And God said to him, because you have asked this and have not asked for yourself long life or riches or the life of your enemies, 
but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right. Behold, I now do according to your word. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind so that none like you has been before you or none like you shall arise after you. I give you also what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that no other king shall compare with you all your days. And if you will walk in my ways, and if you will walk in my ways, keeping my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Once again, that's 1 King chapter 3, verses 6 through 14. And I think this is the English stand, standard, English standard version. Uh, sometimes I use different translations just according to um, what I felt like would be very understandable and relatable for my reader. All right, so chapter two. Now this is the prayer. And um, hmm. All right, let's say this for, for ourselves on tonight. And, you know, as I said before, if you purchase this book, you will have the version that you can pray, that you can intercede. You can use these prayers for intercession and pray for someone else. So if you purchase the book, you'll be able to have the version of the prayer that you can pray for a man or a boy, and then you will also have the, ver the version that you can pray for a woman or a girl. So, and that just follows right behind the prayer that you're praying for yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and pray this prayer for ourselves. Bless me, Father God, with wisdom. <laughs> and I'm specifically, um, this is wisdom to prosper. So, we are, we are, in this case, asking God for wisdom to prosper, okay? And then it says, a prayer to receive wisdom to prosper and achieve mastery in every area. So, you know, I, I, I can't remember what I was thinking when I, when I wrote this, but I can tell you that if you're a master of something, then that is going to enable you to be able to command, uh, not demand, but command your, your, your price, your asking price, whatever, whatever that is, because, you know, you are the master. You can do this like no other. Um, and people want you to do it or provide it or give the service or, uh, they want yours above others because you are a master. So again, this is a prayer to receive wisdom to prosper and achieve mastery in every area. All right, Father God, I come to you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blessing that is over my life. Thank you for each individual blessing, however great or small. Now, Lord, much like Solomon, I realize that it, is, that it is wisdom from you that is needed in order to be able to lead and to be at the helm of this great ship called my life. Wisdom is needed in every area for every decision. There are so many things that I can do because you provide us with free will to do so OK, <laughs> there are so many things that I can do because you provide us with free will to do so. However, I want to do what's best at all times. 
I want to be strategic and masterful with my actions. I want to move under your leadership in wisdom. I want to be wise and understanding in my dealings, in all my relationships, on my job, in my businesses, in my investments, and with my food choices, with my fitness choices, and with every choice that I ever have to make. I prefer to I prefer it be made skillfully with a wise and understanding mind, guided by your Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, I have examined your words, and from my understanding, Solomon had the most wisdom that anyone will ever have. However, Lord, I ask for the greatest measure of wisdom that you are willing to allot to me according to my need and my purpose in the earth. Now it is with a glad heart that I thank you and praise you for this great wisdom. I believe I receive it. Woo! I believe in the days to come, it will show up in many ways and I will be a great blessing in many situations to many believers because of it. I also believe that I will be one who leads many to Christ because of the wisdom that you will display. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also believe that I will be one who leads many to Christ, Christ, because of the wisdom that you will display through me for all to see. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Okay. Oh, I got a um, text message coming in. Okay. So, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. So that is, that is chapter two, guys, of my pretty book that I just, when I open it up, I just so enjoy looking at it and, um, my cousin Donna likes to say happy thoughts <laughs> and it just gives me, it gives me happy thoughts. Just um, flipping through the pages gives me happy thoughts. And um, it was like a vision of mine to be able to put some beautiful uh, illustrations on the pages and, um, and God gave me that, you know, because I could not draw I w and I cannot whatever this would be, um, graphic design. I don't know how the person put it on here, but, um, but I didn't do it. <laughs> and all I could say was I wanted the pages to look pretty with some, you know, pretty designs on the pages. That's pretty much all I, all I could come up with. So, um, you know, he, he truly, he truly saw this project through, and um, I'm thankful for that. And y'all, I'm just thankful for every little thing. You have no idea how thankful I am, how God provides for me, how he moves the things that he does that, you know, I can truly take no credit for. Um, he just loves me and I just, I just receive it. I just thank him and I just, I just take it. I just, take the love that he is, is giving. And, um, and I just appreciate it. <laughs> I just appreciate it. So anyway, um, I want to thank y'all. Thank you again. And, uh, for everything, thank you for tuning in to the, uh, little broadcast that I have here today. And I hope that this can grow um, I'm certainly planning on continuing to go through the book. Uh, once again, stop by amazon.com and go get your copy so that when things happen, when things come up, you can go, you know what, I'm going to get that prayer book and I'm going to, um, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for myself. I'm going to pray for other people. Um, you have somebody else that you need to pray for, go ahead and, 
and uh, pop their name in the blank. Okay, you see that? Get you a pencil, put their name in the blank, and get to praying. And take you a picture. You can take a picture of the prayer and you can text it out to people. Hey, we're praying for so-and-so. We're praying, you know, they're going through something. Pray this prayer here. Just, just read it and believe God and, um, and watch. Watch miracles happen. All right. Well, that's all I got for y'all right now. I will see you next time. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Jesus loves me, her, him, and you. All created by God, that's absolutely true. Gotta, 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 gotta get a revelation of his love for everybody, every nation. Lord, take the blindness off, make me be able to see how you really, really, truly, truly love me. And I'll always fail, but be totally thankful to you. Love will heal me, help me be, see, think, and do. See, your love to me is better than the best man. Better than ice cold water in the desert sand. Better than waking up at home out of a bad dream. Better than cake and ice cream, if you know what I mean. As a matter of the truth, even those are from you. You love me inside, out, and all the way through the Bible.